Hey guys, just wanted to reference a trip I did about a week ago, and then I returned today to Sir Troy's Toy Kingdom. This place is in North Canton, 1180 South Main Street, North Canton, Ohio. Got the website up here, search sirtroys.com. It's a great place, lots of pretty cool things there. Got some really cool displays in the back of their store. A lot of Legos, some other toys as well. Some other brands that are similar construction blocks as Legos. There's a really nice Serenity ship in the back. I'll flip the tab here. We've got a Facebook page. Picture of their store. Qu quite a few rows of Legos and other blocks and some other toys also. It's, it's a pretty cool place. Here it is on Google Maps. And you can zoom out a bit. For reference, right here is the Belden Village Mall. Interstate 77, Sir Troy's Toy Kingdom. So a week ago, I bought a Klingon cruiser. I'll show you that video in a second. I'll take some shots of that. Anyways, that was a mega block. Okay, so here's the, the ship I purchased. This is a Klingon D7 battle cruiser. And it's a mega block, but very similar to Legos. Let's see, I paid what was the price? Thirty-two ninety-eight. And I'll just do a, a brief review of this. It is a pretty cool-looking mega block. Comes with a little stand here. The stand does swivel. It's not not sticking to this table here, but. This does swivel here, so if you want to set it up on display, it'll be, uh, you can set it up however you want. Comes with a little guy with a, a phaser, or a disruptor perhaps, that's probably holding a disruptor there, not a phaser. Anyways, put this together, instructions were pretty easy to follow, however, um, have to have to complain about Mega Blocks quality control. Step 10 here, this part right there, which is this part right here, was missing. So we're missing it right here. Went back to Sir Troy's Toy Kingdom today. I mentioned it to him. I asked him, hey, do I need to email Mega Blocks or what do I do? He said, yep, if I email Mega Blocks, they will send me the piece, but if you hold on a few minutes, I'll go grab one for you in the back. So he he went in the back and gave me a piece. He said he suggested emailing them just so they know they messed up and they'll send me a, another part. He said, don't even worry about returning that part. I'm sure it's not a very expensive part, but I just told him what the part was and he gave me the part no problem. Uh, thank you, Troy, if you're watching this. Awesome. Very cool D7 battle cruiser. So, if it wasn't for the missing part, I would definitely recommend it. It, it looks cool, especially if you're a nerd like me. If, however, however, with the missing part, it's it's difficult to recommend. Maybe I just. Maybe mine was the, the oddball out of the batch. Maybe they missed one out of 500. Who knows? Maybe it's every other. So it's fun. Just when you're missing one part, it is annoying. Luckily, it was this part here on the top, so I can add it at the very end, which is what I will be doing here in just a second. I don't have it. I should have brought it down before I started recording. I'll bring the piece down here in a minute. Anyways... I'll go do that right now. Alright, so this is the piece. Troy gave it to me while I visited his shop today. 
course I had to buy some more toys while I was there, but anyways, thank you very much. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. And there we have it. This box does not want to stay up. There we go. Very cool for the Trekker or Trekkie and fun putting it together. Directions were easy to follow. Rough guess, probably took me about an hour to assemble. I didn't time it. Maybe I should time feature assemblies, but it was, it was pretty easy to put together. Lots of fun, had a good time, minus that missing piece. And Troy pulled through, helped me out there and Looks great. I will be emailing Mega Box, Mega Blocks. We'll see how long it takes them to send me the missing piece. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video.